What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamstang and today we got the very first phone here on this channel in 2022 and this is introducing the Huawei P50 Pro and one of the very first few phones that I actually did review on this channel is the Huawei P40 Pro back in 2020 and it's been some time since I actually did review a Huawei phone. Now of course in the typical Dr. Hamstang fashion what we're going to do is of course to set up this phone, show you what it's all about and also go through the key specs and features of this phone so yes without further ado let's just get right into it All right, so let's start off with the unboxing over here. And what I can say is that in a very nice Huawei fashion, the box looks very, very premium. And of course, with this logo, we do expect something really, really nice, especially when it comes to the camera layout. So over here, you're greeted by the box, by the phone, and we're gonna check it out in a little bit. Let's see what else we will get. And over here, we got the charger 66 watts of the huawei supercharge and it's pretty interesting that they are still using a usb a to usb c which of course is really helpful most of the time nowadays they use a usb c to usb c and of course you get your cables over here and let's just check out what else freebies we get while well, if you do purchase this now, of course here in malaysia if you actually buy the huawei p50 pro they do give you the gt2 pro which of course is an absolute grill beast when it comes to fitness watches and this is basically all the steps you're going to have here the stuff they're going to have the warranty card and of course a nice clear case over here i do like the fact that they still do give you a free phone case rather the box because you know you want to protect your phone and of course down here scan for all the apps because as we know with huawei we do not have any more google apps so here is the phone and wow i am not kidding you guys this is a very very premium device as we can see over here on the back it's a very very shiny glass panel and also on the front you do have your curve display on the sides very very nice weight to it does give it a very luxury and also a premium feel to it so let me just set up this phone and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right so here is the huawei p50 pro and like i mentioned it is a very very nice build material over here you get your glass panel but i'm not too sure whether it's a corning gorilla glass because it is not yet specified by huawei themselves but it does definitely does feel very nice premium glass on the back and also on the front and as i've mentioned they do have a curved display which of course is something pretty interesting it does give again that nice premium feel but of course sometimes people might get some accidental touches if you do use it on the sides and talking about the display, this one does come with a 6.6 inch display. As we can see, it's a very, very long phone uh, for most people. Of course, watching content here, 16 by 9, I think it's going to be a really good deal. And in terms of the panel, we are using a nice OLED panel up to 120 hertz. And one thing about this is really cool is that the fact that they are using a smart refresh rate over here, which of course you can toggle in the display settings. So if you guys want to save some battery, but you also want that 120 hertz, what you can do is go to the screen refresh rate and go to the dynamic. And of course, if you guys want the full on 120 hertz, you can go for the high, or if you want to save some battery, you can go to the 60 hertz. And of course, this one does support up to your quad hd plus but of course if you guys want to save some battery you can go on to the smart resolution or you can go on to low if you want to save some battery all right so looking at the display it definitely does look very very sharp in terms of the colors very nice popish colors and of course in terms of the size it does look and also feel really good and again back to the display it looks really nice with that nice oled one billion color panel and now let's go back to the build and design of this phone. So on the left side, there isn't anything on one of them. But of course, on the other side, you do have your volume rockers and also your power button. And of course, on the back, like I mentioned, you do have glass panel. And of course, it is a fingerprint magnet over here. So definitely you want to slap on the case or maybe put a sticker over here to prevent 
any sort of fingerprints and of course we have the huge camera panel over here which we are going to check out in a little bit and again you do have a nice curve on the side and also on the front so gripping this is actually really nice but one thing to note is that it is quite slippery so in case if you guys are using it with your sweaty hands or you're holding some gloves or some mitts or whatever do be careful with this because it might slip out of your hand but overall in terms of the size and in terms of the grip it definitely does feel really good and of course going on to the bottom this is where you have your USB-C for your super charge over here and of course you have your stereo speaker set up which we are going to test out in a little bit one on the bottom and also one at the top and also you do have your sim card tray slot and also looking at the top we do have your selfie camera over here which also would help with your face unlock and overall very nice clean design something you would definitely expect from any flagship phone here in 2021 all right, so now we're going to test out the stereo speakers and just a correction, we do have one down frame speaker and also one at the top. So it's not at the earpiece and let's just listen to some music. All right, so what I can say about the speaker is that it's very loud and also not just loud, it's very clear and in terms of the bass, very, very good. All right, and one more thing to note is like I mentioned, this one does have your fingerprint and face unlock and we'll see how fast it works. As we can see, works really really fast all you need to do is of course tap on the bottom optical scanner works really nice and in terms of face unlock let's just show it to my face there it goes unlock over here let's try that one more time it recognizes my face right into your phones and now moving forward let's talk about the battery and charging on the p50 pro so over here we do have a 4360 milliamps of battery not the biggest in 2022 standard but still very decent of course one thing to note is that huawei does give you very very good battery performance and over here with my testing i do hope that with the p50 pro that it will stay true with it because it does have that 120 hertz now of course if you guys do drain your battery what you can do is of course charge it up with the 60 6 watts of the Huawei Supercharge so you don't have to worry about it. You can charge it really, really fast. I think within 30 minutes, you can get it all sorted out so you don't have to worry about it. And also, you do have your wireless charging as well and you do have your reverse wireless charger so in case you want to you know, pump up your Huawei GT2 Pro, your Huawei FreeBuds that do support any sort of wireless charging, you can use it over here with your P50 Pro. And of course, if you want to pump up your friend's iPhone, you can do it and show it off with the Huawei P50 Pro. So now let's talk about the internal specs of this phone. So over here, for the very first time, Huawei is using the Snapdragon 888. No more Kirin chipsets. But we all know about the Snapdragon 888. It's a really good and fast processor in terms of speed, in terms of just the smoothness. It works really, really fine. And of course, in my limited time with this phone so far, it does feel very fast and snappy in terms of gaming, in terms of just social media consumption. You're not going to notice much of a problem over here. Scrolling through your apps and just moving around, especially with that 120 hertz and also that Quad HD display, it definitely does look and feel really, really good. In terms of the RAM, we do have 8 gigs of RAM and also up to 256 gigs of storage. And you do have the ability to add your memory card over here, but they don't have any micro SD, but they do have their own proprietary nano memory cards, which of course is really, really expensive for me personally speaking, but it's quite hard to get in most places anyway. But overall, in terms of just the overall specs, internal specs, it does look really, really good on the Huawei P50 Pro. And now moving on to the software side of things here, it's running your EMUI 12 out in the global version and of course if you are from china it is running harmony os in terms of the software it's very nice very polished i would say of course it does come with a lot of customization like i mentioned you can change your display settings over here in terms of the resolution and also the refresh rate of course, you do have your always on display. You can change your home screen, which I would say even using the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, they do have very, very nice wallpapers, very colorful and of course, very sharp images, which of course, I really do like. And in terms of the software, it's just very nice, very polished. It's very, very clean. And of course, moving around. And of course, one thing I really do like is this navigation dock, which you can do a lot of customizations with this as well. And you can change a lot of stuff with this 
case which I really do like. And of course, one of the most bummer thing about Huawei phones in 2022 is the fact that they do have your Google services. But of course, if you guys do not need that, you can use your app gallery or you can go to your APK stores to download whatever you need to do. And of course, if you guys know people around, you can actually ask them to install the Google Play Store for you as well. But overall, in terms of the software side of things, it's really, really good. And also one more thing to note is that this phone does come with an IP68 rating, so it is dust and water resistant. And also the last thing about this phone is definitely those huge cameras over here. So on the bottom, we do have your periscope camera, which looks really, really cool. I gotta admit, it looks really, really interesting seeing in 2021, we have always had the rectangular design. But over here with the P50 Pro, very nice circular design and also going to have two huge circles over here. So in terms of the modules, what we have is a 50 megapixel f1.8 sensor with dual autofocus, laser autofocus and OIS and of course that is your main lens and we do have a 64 megapixel f3.5 periscope telephoto camera with dual autofocus and OIS and it also does give you up to three times of optical zoom. We do have a 13 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide over here and a 40 megapixel f1.6 and in terms of the selfie camera over here we do have a nice 13 megapixel lens over here and also it does offer that wide field of view in case if you guys want to do your Wi-Fi f2.4 don't forget about that and it can record up to 4k at 30 fps on the front and if we go on to the back it can record up to 4k at 60 fps which of course is absolutely insane so what we're going to do is of course take out some shots and also just want to see how is the quality when it comes to the Huawei P50 Pro's camera all right, so looking at the shots with the main lens, what I can say is that yes, it looks really, really nice, very sharp and contrasty colors and very natural, I would say. And of course, amazing, amazing amount of details. Going on to the ultra wide as well, great amount of details and as well, there's not much distortion, I would say. And in terms of the sharpness, all looks really nice. And here is the 3.5 times zoom, looks really awesome. Amazing again, amount of details and sharpness. And overall, I think it's a really nice shot, very nice colors as well. And let's go on to some portrait shots. And what I can say is that, yes, it does have a more dramatic feel right here, but definitely does give you a good amount of bokeh effect, good amount of details and subject separation. And here is, you know, you can actually go up to three times of the portrait zoom, which of course is something I really do like, that versatility. But in terms of subject separation, yes, it could be improved in future updates. Let's go on to some selfie shots. Looking, I'm looking really nice over here. And of course, if you guys want to go a bit crazy with some super wide wifi, you can do it over here. Very still good amount of details and very, very wide field of view. All right, so that is it with the Huawei P50 Pro. And I gotta say, it actually is looking really good, especially here in 2022. You do have a very nice build and design. You do have nice display. You have good speakers. You have good battery and charging as well. And of course, in terms of the camera, looking very, very promising. So if you guys want to get this, you know you can get it for about 1,000 euros or 1,000 USD, depending on where you're from. Here in Malaysia, it sells for about 4,200 ringgit Malaysia. Of course, if you do buy it now, you can actually get the Huawei GT2 Pro as well. So overall, in terms of this phone, I gotta say it's actually looking really, really nice. And I gotta say, maybe if you guys do not mind the without the Google services, of course, if you just want a nice flagship phone, I think definitely here, the P50 Pro definitely does fit that bill. So if you guys did enjoy this video and also want to see more of these type of videos, do click the like and smash that subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and here on YouTube at Dr. Hamstack. So that is it. This is Dr. Hamstack. Stay safe, take care, and wash those hands. Thank you.